Have you ever heard about open source games? I mean, except for game engine project examples and some old ones that were only open to some extent, excluding artwork, soundtrack and other assets. Well, I don't mind if you don't, at least if you are not a Linux user. In that case, you could see a lot of them in your distribution repositories, which you can access in your local software center app. But if you are a Windows, or possibly even macOS user who wants to try something new, what if this would be something truly free with no strings attached, so lightweight that it can run on most of toasters out there, and while that, actually pretty fun? Well, then you would probably like this video. You can call me like car, and today I will tell you about some open source games I recommend trying out. Please sit down, refrain from breathing near working software, and let us begin our talk. Osu is a rhythm game consisting of several game modes. These modes include Osu Standard, inspired by two games, Osu Tataki Anden and Elite Beat Agents, Osu Taiko, a mode inspired by Taiko no Tatsujin series, Osu Catch, which is a mode based on easy to catch, and Osu Mini mode similar to Step Mini series. The most interesting part of the game is that beat maps, which are levels of corresponding songs and themes, are community made, which along with free nature of the game allows for nearly any song to be picked. This game also has large competitive community, which mostly plays standout emojis and drawing tablets. Sonic Robo Blast 2, or in short SRV2, is a high-speed 3 platformer based on original Doom engine. It features sprite-based graphics, so-called classic characters designs, unique moves for almost every one of them, knights-inspired special stages, and support for community-made add-ons, including custom levels, characters, and modifications. There is also Persona Clone and arcade racing game derivatives of that game. While on subject of certain long-time competitors, let's talk about Super Tux Kart, arcade racing game with free software mascots as playable characters. We have Tux the Lennox Penguin, Conky the Conqueror, Pepper from Pepper and Carrots, XAFE mascot that for some reason has a name here, also open game art and free to mascots and... A. Who is that? Do not get me wrong though, I'm happy that game is still updated with new content. Also, community made carts and tracks are here, though it's not main focus of the game. Arena shooters, while still being those genre, are no match for hardcore games of the old, like Quake and Unreal Tournament series. Well, Xenotic is classic in spirit, but more modern in terms of graphics and time since last update. Arena shooter made on engine loosely based on engine that was based on Quake engine. Gameplay features nine weapon types, most of which have secondary fire option. There is also person versus person multiplayer, single player that emulates multiplayer behavior with bots, and several game modes, even including unfinished person versus entity one. My Industry is a hybrid factory management, tower defense and real-time strategy game that you can compare to Factorio, but more focused on tower defense and strategy elements and without survival ones at all. Multiplayer and mod support is also present. This game is pretty easy to start playing thanks to pretty graphics and well thought out difficulty and complexity progression, which considering the gameplay depth is an absolute achievement, making the game enjoyable by both newcomers and hardcore fans. Mindtest is a voxel game engine with built-in game, which is similar to old Minecraft versions. There is a lot of games which are structurally similar to Minecraft Movax but with a lot more flexibility and mods for these games, both written in lower language and accessible to download using the in-game content download menu. For example, with Mineclone 2 game you can get a most full featured free Minecraft 1.12 clone with multiplayer support and even some mods, mostly for features from new Minecraft versions. As for other example, No Core as original voxel sandbox game has its own mechanic unlike you ever seen in this genre. And you are not even limited to sandbox games, there's arcade runner subway miners, small platformer ladybug, puzzles like portal test and a lot more. Also, I want to quickly tell you about some projects I didn't include in main list for some reason, but I still find them worth to try out. Pixel Dungeon is a classic rouge like which forks are available on Play Store and pretty popular. Free Droid RPG is an isometric RPG which I can only recommend to the hardcore fans of the genre. Hedge Wars is a Worms clone with hedgehogs. Fingus is a Lemmings clone with penguins. Super Tux 2 is a side-scrolling platformer with penguin. T-Worlds is a multiplayer side-scrolling platformer shooter. Axie is a very surreal and strange puzzle platformer with geometry breaking mind-bending effects.
That concludes my small talk on open source video games. Please let me know if you find out that I overlooked your favourite game here by sharing it in the comments down below, and I hope to see you again later.